how are you? My name is Anthony Gray. Welcome to another episode of Gray Scale Painting. I'm going to try for a nice little ocean scene. Okay, um, we're going to get right on to it. Um, this is an 8 by 20 inch foam board. I just spray glued uh, some canvas to it and uh, this is what we have. All right, now I pre um, painted the surface this weird looking uh, blue green type of color all right just give some uh, the paint to stick to it and whatnot and that's all I did to it all right okay uh, you may see bits of my head it's just the way I got the camera placed all right you'll so you'll see my head over here uh, from time to time I'm gonna try to keep my head out of the way as best I can okay all right I will use my go-to brush for just about everything um this really beat down two inch brush with the thick bristles there i'm gonna lay on some uh vegetable glycerin vegetable glycerin is just um the medium of choice that i use for my heavy body acrylic paint it just helps the paint to flow easier you can blend with it um and it keeps the paint wet a little longer a very little bit of this stuff goes a very long way all right so you can just take a partial brush full and just really scrub it into the canvas wipe it right along there don't put too much of this stuff on if you do it's going to take forever to dry all right but it, it does extend the drying time of the paint okay and we'll just put it on the top for right now because we're going to pretty much deal with the top area okay all right i'm gonna build the clouds in layers today all right, uh, I'll just take the same broad brush. I'm gonna uh, coat some titanium white here with it. Right here on the top, just spread that titanium white on there. Just like that. We're gonna, you're never even gonna see any of this funky color. Put it right in there. All right, and bring it, bring it downward. We're gonna do a little bit of a uh, blending and all that fun stuff put it right in there now depending on how much glycerin you got on there this stuff is going to run on you okay so be mindful of that just be careful all right i'm gonna put it right right down here by the horizon line which is why i got the tape there okay like i say we're gonna we're gonna play around we're gonna have a little fun with this right now across the, i'm just filling it up with just the white okay Okay, we're going to cover up all that pre-color, so don't worry about it, none of that. You don't even have to smooth it out or anything, just cover it up. Okay, you take the smallest amount of blue you have there. On the tip of the brush. Go right, right, from, the, right from the top there, and we're going to kind of give it a nice sky color there. Alright, just keep working at it. You don't want really too much... Um, of the white showing so I'm taking a little bit of this is a very strong blue so a little bit of blue will do I'm not gonna go all the way down with the blue I'm gonna pop some yellow down in there but you'll see as we go along here but I do want to get rid of some of that white there and I'll just keep rubbing it in there real nice I'm lightening the strokes okay I'm not as heavy as the strokes down toward the bottom all right, but I do want it pretty blue up here. Nice sky blue. It doesn't have to be super dark blue. Just this nice, fairly bright blue. Like I say, light down, light down here. Heavier up here toward the top. All right, like that. Okay. <clears throat> Rinse off the brush. And you know what? I started to paint, but I didn't introduce the colors. So let's look down here. We have uh, um, um, burnt umber, phthalo blue. We got ultramarine blue. We got cad red, cad yellow, and titanium white. That's all the colors we uh, will be working with today. Okay, let's take some of this yellow. Now I already got white on here. I'm gonna take some yellow. Right down here by the horizon line, we're just gonna pop that yellow in there go right across with it 
just like that okay and just kind of keep playing with it there that yellow right on the bottom don't worry about it turning greenish at the top I'm not really worried about no green color we'll get rid of that green anyway just like that right on the right on the bottom I'm gonna take I'm gonna strengthen that yellow with a little bit of white okay just brighten it up a little bit wake it up nice bright color right there and you see I'm going straight back and forth all right just like that really good and we go back softly back over that blue and I'm just gonna do some egg strokes here where the yellow and the blue meet so it won't turn too greenish okay just like that all right that's probably about as much as I may need in there I might touch it up with a little more white in the center here right up around in here I'll just kind of play around in this right in here and just lightly just brush it across real light kind of want something a little, a little bright there right there in the center I'll brush it up a little bit kind of move it around and go back and forth okay I won't bother it much more after that okay I'm gonna put this brush away let's go to a half inch brush for one second I'm gonna brush in some very light clouds um, maybe some light stuff up around in here just in lines like that maybe around in here like this we're gonna come on the other side we'll brush some on the other side um, somewhere around in here like this and maybe play around with it in here a little bit all right just like that okay nothing too complicated about that all right and I'll take the big brush again and lightly back and forth back and forth put them in lightly just like that that's it just like that don't make it disappear totally just keep them there all right just kind of blend them in a little bit just like that okay now let's um we'll take the same half inch brush let's um take a little bit of oh well I guess we'll 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 sketch it out this way I'll take a little bit of white okay half inch brush and we'll, we'll sketch him actually let's uh sketch in some cloud patterns right in here just like this we just come around like that come around here like this something like that take the white go on the other side we're gonna come here put some here come on down here come up a little bit come down like this come down around something like that all right okay we're gonna take um some of this white this is just a guide and we're just gonna take it oh right about here go straight across as about as good as you can right about here because we have a nice little band right there all right okay we're gonna build our sky from that little tracing I just did all right okay we're going to use mm, I think I use a slightly wider brush for what I'm gonna do now look down here in the palette with me it's very important okay let's take a little bit of blue we'll put the blue right here we'll pop that blue right in there we're gonna get a lot of this blue put the blue right in there put some brown in that blue get it fairly dark okay we're probably going to use quite a bit of this mixture of the blue and brown together so we're going to put some pretty dark skies in there and then we're going to highlight on top of that okay right now we're just going to block in color no more no less all right just block in color let's start from the bottom we want the bottom particularly dark right here wherever you got that white line at you're going to cover it with black or not black but this dark color right in here to me that might be a little more too blue let's get a little bit more brown in that mix it in there I want it more on a on the dark 
blue gray side somewhat okay we're gonna come back on the other side we're gonna go right where that white line is we're gonna cover that cover it cover it and we're gonna go straight down come on come on down that's like that nice little little line keep going keep going press it in there just like that all, all in here do the same thing we're gonna just kind of form make our little, little formations like this all right and we're gonna build up all sorts of interesting things from that and we're gonna fill all of this in block it all in with colors we're gonna get our clouds out of this believe it or not okay just like that get some more of the color come on the other side we're gonna do the same thing on the other side we're gonna block that in block it in, in here block it in I'm flipping my brush around and getting just gonna just like that and come on in here and we're gonna come in here just like that just block all that in doesn't look like much now but we're just blocking in color that's the most important thing just block that color in if we got to get it deeper we're gonna get it deeper but right now we're just just block it in you guys can do this you guys can do this house I'm gonna get it a little darker it's not dark enough for me we're gonna we're gonna really darken all that but that's pretty much what we're going for what you see right there okay all right I'm going back into my brown get some more of that brown put it right in here in this in this mix uh a little bit of red this time put the red in there so I've got red a little bit of brown a little bit of blue nice deep color there all right something like that nice and deep color we're gonna play around all in this just like that nice and deep see that nice and deep color put it just put it right up in there just like that we're gonna move this paint around don't worry just block it and we just need some of that nice dark right up in here nice contrast all up in here just dark pretty dark down there all right get some more as you see I didn't go all the way up somewhere around in in here just darken it it's gonna be fairly dark down here you need it really dark on this bottom edge here okay and we're gonna keep playing with that we're gonna get it fairly dark you need that dark contrast there with that yellow okay all up in here Just like that, darken it right up. Really get it nice and dark there. All right, we'll play around all in here, make it nice and dark. Okay, we'll we'll um straighten out stuff as we go along here, but fairly deep coloration in there. Okay. We're gonna play with all of them, them dare clouds. I'm just rinsing off my brush very well. Okay. Um, I guess I'll use a filbert for this next part. Now I'm gonna use um, just titanium white because the paint is fairly wet and we're gonna build our cloud patterns. Okay. It's going to mix in with the uh, the dark color that we have. So we're going to play, we'll play right from here. Right here. Okay. Now as I'm doing this, as you can see, the color starting to wear away. And that's kind of what you want. And put it in a circular type motion as we do this. But you, you want the light to come right from this, this. East, this front edge in here and just let it happen just tap it away see how the color is turning into that that dark okay right, and this is what we're gonna play with okay just like that let it fade away I'm not I'm not doing anything so just tapping tapping some tones and and um, <coughs> values in there 
Okay, we're going to do that again. I'm drying off my brush, getting another little tap of white. And we're just blending colors. Okay, nothing special. Just, just tapping in and blending. Just like that. Come on now. We're not, we're not going to go all the way down. Just like so. Just put it, keep putting them in. Oops, keep putting them in there. I just hit my phone with a brush. It's all right. Uh, let's put a little love right in here. Just like that. And you just keep tapping away. Just like that. You see it's not st totally strictly white. All right, they're just kind of rolling in. Those, those colors are just rolling in there. We're gonna go on the other side. We're gonna, we're gonna play around on the other side now. This is what my brush looks like. Let's come over here. Now, I can put my face in the camera because I'm on the other side. Right here, right on the edge of the cloud here. You're going to shut off that cloud. Go in a circular motion like that. Okay. Just come over here. Right up in here. It's all right. Let the color, let that bluish color soak it right in. It's okay. It's all right. Just like that. Now, you may not see it too well because of the glare on that side. But we're following pretty much the same premise as before. Just like that. Come on down in here. I'm gonna put some down here. Just let it fade away. You don't really want it down toward the lower edge. This is not the final um, um, coloration, of course. Just like that. Bring it up in here a little bit. Okay, and keep with a circular shape, just like that. Have it come here. <coughs> Let the color swallow it right up, just like so. Come on in there. You're just building tones. Mm, should I have a little something over there? Yeah, just a little tiny bit of something. Right, right about in here. Okay, just like that. Bring it in a little bit, just like like that. All right, all right. I'm going to take a very soft brush, and we're going to gently. Um, um fade them in there very gently all right make a brush here very gently but start from the bottom very gently and i mean really gently you're just gonna kind of blend that very softly especially where it should be dark at very gently see that i don't want to get rid of everything but just smooth out certain areas particularly toward the bottom okay do the same thing here very gently you can see it happening as you're touching okay I'm just using the corner I'm not using everything this brush is rounded so you think it's the whole thing touching all of this and it's not definitely not you might want some parts to fade in a little stronger than others up to you okay Right here, I just kind of, kind of brush it really nicely there, like that. All right, that's one of the, the faded in because you're going to add stronger white um, to that. All right, so you build everything up in stages. We're going to still take the same um, filbert, and we're going to go put the tip of the filbert into that titanium white, just the tip. All right, and we start building up some uh, some highlights in there. Now, the stronger you got your highlights, the less the less of that color you need. But we're just building up highlights, and I'm gonna take my time with this. We'll build up you know rounded highlights there. You, you can kind of see how it's going, just like so. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off my brush, <coughs> and we'll play around with some of that roundness there, just like that. Go back, get you another tip of color, and 
wherever you want the highlight where you want that sun to, to take take it and you just round it off there okay just like that and we trail it along make the rest disappear just make it gently disappear you see the highlights there okay once again nice tip of paint it's just a technique that I'm showing you get you something bright right around in here and kind of make him come around in here a little bit bring some of that out that way bring a little bit of that love that way and just kind of smooth it out a little bit okay all right maybe we don't necessarily want it at the at the edge maybe you want to round it off here okay just like that and put it in a rounded shape and like so okay let's um come back here and just put one going this way and just bulk it out here so we're going another direction we'll just lighten it from the bottom there just like that okay and we'll work some down here just like that up to you up to you flatten out my brush and we're just getting tips up just little bits of white um maybe a little bit of something trailing it in here but we kind of bring it that way and then we'll just destroy that bottom edge get rid of the bottom edge keep the brightness but get rid of the bottom edge get rid of the bottom edge just tapping it away and you see i'm keeping away from the direct bottom where i keep the bottom pretty dark just like that it's kind of and maybe we can yeah we'll borrow some of this and we'll curve it up like that just like that let's we'll just rub it away just like that okay see that all right Going on the other side, we're going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to get some water. I'm going to flatten on my brush, return the shape of the brush. Just a filbert. I'll show you what, again what it looks like. This is number 10 filbert. Okay. All right. Tip of the brush, a little white paint. And once again, we'll go right here by the edge. Round it off. Round it off. And I'm just tapping. I'm not pulling or anything. Just tapping that, that edge there. Tap the edge there, and then we'll let it die out. Let it die out, maybe around it this way. We'll get a nice little trail coming downward that way. Just make it interesting. You know, the sunlight hits these guys at peculiar ways, peculiar angles, just like this. Maybe we'll get a little something right in here. I'm just tapping. All right, a little tapping motion, but we're going to continue that line because I see the line here. I see it. This is in my mind's eye. It might not be in yours. You might see something a little different. We'll bring some of this down. We're just tapping still, tapping the color. The more you tap that paint, the more it kind of blends in. But there's a little line of brightness that I, I see. Like I said, I see this in my eye. I, you know, you don't necessarily may, you may not necessarily see it that way. But as you can see, when you get a nice bright line there, it brings that dark area back further. You got me? Mm. Let me let it fade up around in here. It's all right. Let it fade away and play. Okay. All right. So let's uh, emphasize that deep pocket right there. We'll brighten this out. We'll bring it way out here. Just like that. I don't necessarily have to go towards the edge. All right. And then we'll just kind of tap and fade that out up there. Okay, so you can control the degree of brightness that you want. All right, and now you can go in between. So let's say if you want a little pocket of something right in here, it's kind of curved like this. And then it curves that way. All right. Good, no problem. Keep that intensity up top, but you're gonna pat away. See this? 
and just make it disappear. You'll get better at this the more you do it. And since most people like clouds and they like ocean scenes and such, and ocean scenes do have dynamic clouds, that's how you do it. All right. Something like that. Nice, interesting little pockets. You don't necessarily have to have them this, uh, the pockets this spaced apart. You can do smaller ones and smaller ones and smaller ones. I'll put one right in here, curving around like that. All right, just like that. Just make that other part disappear in there. So you can put pretty much whatever you want in that, all right? I'll add a little bit of love right in here in this, this corner right here. And then we'll kind of bring it out and around like that. As I'm doing this, I can feel that my uh, glycerin is getting tacky, which is a beautiful thing. It's all right. I'll keep the tapping motion. It adds a little bit of texture to the clouds. And I kind of like it personally. So we're going to use um no i'm gonna stick with this i want a little silver lining happening right in here see nice gentle one get a little more white i'm just using the, the very tip it's giving me a nice uneven line all right there well just a little a little something there just to kind of edge it off a little bit all right i think i can add a little bump of brightness to this guy right in here just like this I'll tap in the bottom i just want a little rounded stuff right up in here just some brightness, I can rub that in there, rub that color away. Like that. All right. Okay. And you can keep building off of this and building off of this and building off of this as much as you feel. Okay. Okay. So, I want to go even darker. <coughs> so, I'll take the same filbert. I'm gonna go into my brown. Um, I'll keep it right in here. More brown than anything. Brown, a little, little slight touch of the um, blue. Very dark, extremely dark. It's just a brown in the blue. In the same way I've done the clouds, you can do the shading. So I want my shading a little deeper. Look at this. See this? So I'm just bringing some of this nice, solid, deep dark color a little touch of thalo blue in with my uh, um um umber here it's very dark very dark color and if i want i'll add a touch of a of, uh, red in there it makes it even darker i just want something really dark um close to almost black okay which is gonna really really there we go that that's the dark I'm looking for and we're gonna bring that right to the edge down there all right right here right into the bring that dark right to its edge there okay bring it bring it right down there pretty dark there and you can keep messing with all this good dark color tap it right in there just like that. Now this paint's still wet. I can still play around with it. Right now I'm just establishing some really deep dark color um, in these pockets. And this paint is still wet so we're gonna do some blending. So have no fear. But as you can see with all that super dark it brings out the light in the mid-tones. I'm wiping off my brush and we can start to tap and blend because what you're looking for is, is no harsh 
lines. You want it to flow and blend in in there. Okay. Just like that. Blend it right into your mid-tone there. So you got bright, your mid-tones, and your solid darks. And if, when I say dark, it doesn't necessarily mean pitch black. Okay. Like I say, some of this paint is starting to tack up, which is beautiful. Just helps in the blending process. But see how it's starting to turn out? Get rid of the hard lines. Smooth them out. Curve them. Twist them. Okay. Just like that. We're going to be doing this for a little while. And this is another reason why I use such a small color palette. Remember, I, I, down here is you needed the darkest. All right. You needed the darkest here to show off that yellow, white down there. Okay. Put it in there. Fade it away. Okay. I'm going to gather some more. It's uh, red and blue with some of this uh, umber. Really dark. And it's on the tip of my brush. Okay. You're going to go straight down this, down this line. I'll start from the bottom down here. I'll go on the other side here. Right here. Pretty dark. Pretty strong dark. Alright. And then you start to tap and play with some of this you're just blocking it in it's the same procedure you're just blocking it in okay just like that we're gonna come up here and bring some of that dark up there and we're gonna fade that I'm wiping off my brush and you just tap in between the dark and the light you just tap tap it in there see this Tap it in there. You're not destroying everything. You're just getting that, that nice flavor, nice transition of colors in there. <coughs> Tones and values, all that good stuff. Tap it in there. Tap some of that dark stuff up in there like that. Okay. Now I'm wiping off my brush. Like I say, some of this paint is getting tacky, so it can, you can blend it. Okay. Blend it to whatever degree of dark you're looking for in there. Okay. I see a nice pocket that can take advantage of this right in here. Just like that. And then I'm wiping off my brush. And what you got here on the canvas, bring it up, bring it up, bring it down. See this? to wherever you feel you need it. Okay. Where you feel is closest to you, which is usually nearest to you, right here, all up in here, bring it, put that darkness in there. Just like that. Up in there. You will get accustomed to doing this stuff. Okay, you will, honestly, you will. You will start to see it in your mind's eye and you will do it. I'm just showing you the technique. However, however you, found, you form your clouds is really entirely up to you. Okay, really. There, come on up in here a little bit. Just like that. Okay. You can keep adding and keep adding or taken away up to you let's get that fairly dark down there let's gather some more of that color need some of that deep color don't be afraid to put it down there going across with it going across continue that nice deep dark line there I can take it and I can just twirl my brush just like you would twirl a fan brush or one of the big blending brushes to make up brushes Blend it. Okay. And I'm using the side of the brush just to scumble. Now when I say scumble, it's just another word, just fancy word of blending. 
almost like a dry brush almost just like so okay all right now you got to remember that yellow beam that yellow ray down there is not as 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 thick as you think because remember this tape here all right okay now what i am going to do is just just blend in just a wee bit of that yellow i'm just gonna not make that line so sharp so i'll lightly back and forth i'll kind of soften this bottom edge in here soften it just a little bit soften it just a little i'm going in between the colors in between the yellow and in between that dark color okay if you have to press a little hard press a little, it's just to soften a little bit of the bottom there bring some of that brown into the yellow some of that yellow into the brown just to soften it a little bit just a wee bit okay just a little bit just to soften it just a little bit there i'm gonna take a little bit of of um of um white and i mean a small bit very small this is where almost the dry brushing comes into play and we're just gonna kind of obscure some of that almost like i say almost like a dry brush a little touch of white taking some of that white off the brush almost like a dry brush and it's like little like little highlight trying to peek through there see that it just brightens it up just a little bit it continues straight line just like that kind of obscure some of that there only a little bit on the bottom though only a little bit and you can do it in, in in gradual tones all right it depends on how much of it you want see i'm keeping it toward the center okay see that you see that haziness there it's sharper here but not in here so much so you can kind of aim where you want that little brightness of the sun it didn't have to necessarily be in the middle. It could have been more to the left, more to the right. It's all up to you, really. All right. And I'm taking a little bit of the white and I'm going into the yellow a little bit, just in that area. Just in that area. Just like that. See that yellow, bright. Got a little, little haziness in here. All right. Entirely up to you. You don't necessarily have to do that. All right, but you know, it's like right there. All right, now if you desire, once again, up to you, you don't have to do what I'm about to do, up to you, just a little bit of, if you want a little bit of sunlight there, you can kind of play with it a little bit, just right in here, just a little, almost like a little, little dot right in there. All right, just a little bit up to you you don't have to have it this wide it's up to you if you don't like it get rid of it put it right in there i'll take a wee bit of yellow and you lay it right on top of that white just right up in here somewhere and i'm gonna keep playing with that now you add a little bit of white on top of that yellow just a little bit right in there see you can make it stronger just spread it in there so that little, little, almost a little circular dot of brightness right there. Up to you. Really up to you. Because I got a nice concentration of yellow there, pump that white up right up in that area right here. Up to you. Okay. Just right there. And obviously you can take some more of that white and we'll just kind of once again we'll come up in here we'll kind of show that off a little bit just in here see that very gradual very gradual very gradual but you kind of see where it is bring some of that white over here on this side but it's only in that little spot okay just right in there. Okie dokie. Alrighty. 
just like that no more no less let's take the tape off we've got a nice little horizon line now just like that okay now remember all up here used to be this color Let me see okay let's get some uh, a little bit of glycerin now up to you if you want the water a raging sea if you want it nice and calm up to you I'm thinking calm today now the glycerin I have I'm going straight to the bottom first because you know you got that horizon line there so I'm gonna be careful with this large brush and I'll bring it really close to the edge there really close to the edge I can see it because it's, like I said this glycerin is very reflective you don't need much of this stuff this stuff a little bit goes a very long way be mindful of that please there we go just a little bit up there all the rest just like that all right you already did the top near the horizon line don't worry about that that's it that's all you need all right okay all right so what are we going to do with that water we want it pretty fairly somewhat calm okay let's take some of that dark color that i have uh, let's go let's go umber i know this is weird for ocean color but i'm going dark i got a little bit of the uh umber the um burn umber i think it's burn umber i got here burn umber and a little bit of blue okay all right i'm gonna come down here just down here we're gonna color that in there put it in there just like this not too far up maybe around in there something like that okay something like that all right let's go with our i got this nice ultramarine color so we're gonna go we're gonna deal with a little bit of that right up in here okay nice ultramarine right up in there Bring it right across. Go straight across with it. Straight across. Okay. Put it in with that darker color. If the darker color needs to be darker, we're going to get it darker. Just like that. As you can see, I'm leaving that top part alone. I'm not worried about the top part just yet. I'm going into my red, believe it or not. Red and my blue. It takes nice deep violet why am i going violet well i need something dark here it might even look reddish it's okay don't worry about that bring it in there you need dark right now it's going to register as dark it's dark right now very deep this glycerin is going to keep it wet for quite a minute all right just like that and glycerin you see the streaks but you won't as it dries this these streaks will go away all right so don't fret hashtag and don't panic all right up there we're gonna get a smaller brush for that we get a smaller brush we're gonna kind of emulate a little bit of that brightness from that from the the sun and the yellow there okay we'll do it with a half inch I got a long um, half inch here long bristle half inch we're gonna go into the ultramarine we're gonna put it uh, look at down here we'll put it right here we're gonna slight now I mean a slight touch of white will brighten it up a little bit just like that now I got glycerin already on here yeah we'll start from here right from here we just kind of oh, get it in as close to that horizon line all right put it in there pretty fairly close there 
right on that horizon line. Keep it as even as you can. Get plenty of that color. Drag it down a little bit. Drag some of that color downward. We'll be blending and all of that. Bring the color down. All right. I'm getting some more. It's just the ultramarine and some titanium white. Stir it around. Don't worry. You want that horizon line really. I'm pressing down on my brush. So I'm, I'm getting as much color as I can down below that brush there. As long as I got that horizon line straight. Like that. As long as I got that. All right, we'll blend in the rest. Like see for here, for instance here. We'll put a little more here in there. Right where the sun would be, somewhere around there. And plus it gets rid of the stuff off my brush. Then we'll just kind of back and forth, back and forth, blend it, black, back and forth like this. Okay, back and forth, just like that. Go on the other side and we're gonna blend that. If you gotta bring it down a little bit, bring it down. Bring in, blend, bring in those two colors together. Keep going back and forth. Blend it. Just blend it. Just like that. I'm coming. Just like that. Blend that a little bit there. Just like so. Blend it in there. All right. See that little, little, little color there? Everything's a little dark, but you got that little room, but it's getting got a little bit of color right in there. Okay. All right, I'm just rinsing off the brush real quick. I only need a little touch of white, what I'm going to do. All right, just a little hit of touch of white. Right up in here. Right in here. See, it's not entirely just like, I think it's go a little wider there, and then we'll narrow it, narrow it down here. Bring some of it down in here like that. Bring some in, 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 that, in that darkness there. I'm just wiping off my brush lightly go that way very lightly see yeah some gentle stuff like that okay all right oh uh, let's drag some of that more over here a little bit more just like that and we'll just kind of fade it off fade it off fade it off it's all right just like so and we're, we're good we're good okay we get a fan brush let's uh let's bring it in a little bit I'm Dipping my brush in the water, you hear it. I'm getting some titanium white. I'm gonna go right here. The closer you are to it, the better. Kind of controls it better. Right in here, and we're just gonna give a couple of nice flicks of white right in there. So it looks like little sparkles. Just like that, come on down a little bit. Some strong sparkles there. We'll trail some of the sparkles way over here. Come on this way, but mainly in the center there just like that okay I got some patches this this even up them patches a little bit and we'll bring some of that down there like like so all right just a little couple of those okay and then let's pan back out let's see what it looks like here so you got little got your little sparkles of water uh, brightness hitting the water there and we're gonna come right on the horizon line here and you have to be fairly uh, relaxed to do this we're getting to get that horizon line going there okay get a nice horizon line going a nice horizon line right on across there all right get a little touch of titanium white Bring it across. Get a nice little swipe across. Don't rush it. There you go. Come on. Go on across. Go on across. Come on. You can work with me. Go on across. I'm just pressing on pretty good. And there we go. We got something going right across. Got a little little bit here that didn't make it. And we'll put it right in there like that. 
just like so. I think we put a little something right in there. We're going to take the same white. Get a bit of white here. And we're going to get some, some flowing lines there, here and there. When it's close to the sun there, they can be pretty tiny. It's just a touch. See that? Just a, put it in there. They can be like little ripples of waves or something right across. As they get closer to us, you see this? That's where the reflection is. All right. And you just get yourself a nice little swath of white. And you just tap it in there. Okay, just tap it in there. Various spots there. Just like that. If they get they get a little little larger, if they get closer to us, just be mindful to keep this stuff level. Keep it straight. All right, you want this, you want to sell the illusion of, the, of all this nice water here. Just keep it straight. Come on down here. They don't have to keep them all the same length, but you do have to keep them straight. Okay, just like that. All right, so you, you see what it's starting to look like here. All right, I'm getting some more titanium white. I can't have it contaminated with blue. It gotta be nice and white there. there you come across some, somewhere in the, in the dark areas there. Just like this. All right, come out here a little bit. Bring it out here a tad. All right, you, you, you drag them out a little bit, something like that. All right, pretty straightforward uh, type of scene. Okay, let's, uh, let's let's play with some of this. Let's get let's play with some of the dark areas. Okay, I'm getting some brown. We're gonna play with the dark areas. Brown, a little bit of phthalo blue. I'm gonna use the palette knife for this. Check this out. I'm messing with just the dark areas now same pellet knife okay and we're going to swipe across and we'll make some darkened waves right in here at least the, the bottom of the shadow half like this come on in here and you can put some of that put some of that dark stuff in there like this just like this use your pellet knife flatten that out a little bit okay it will show through believe me it is, it'll show through we'll put some we'll, put, we'll play around with some of that light area up in here and I'm just pressing in some de decent little shapes in there. All right, very mysterious. They're in there. Okay, go right across. Come on down here in the middle. Put some of that dark in there. Really smooth. Just put some of that in there. Up in here. Bring it right across. Rub it in there. But you're going. The key to it is horizontal. Keep it horizontal. Put it in here a little bit. Some of you may see this, some of you may not see this, but it, it trust me, it's in there. All right, let's go to our white now. We're gonna mix that white right on top of some of those. And the way you do it, okay, with the palette knife, is slightly above where you got all that dark, you just take your palette knife and you just kind of put it in there like that, rub it in there. Now you got a little wave action going on. See this? Okay. And we're going to do a little bit of that in certain spots all over the place. So it may, really looks like you got some stuff happening in that dark area. It's really churning up there. Come here. Put it right in there. Blend it. See that? Get it to blend it a little bit. See? You got your little crest there. As you can see, it's not overly complicated. Okay. It depends on how you want the crest of the wave to be. You make it heavier in the middle and you thin it out on the edges. So I'll make an example here. You put it in pretty thick here, but you thin it out. Thin it out, thin it out. Instant, instant wave. Okay. And you can, you can trail that guy. Here you go, right in there like that. So you already got your dark underneath. So if it, you, it's really making it easy for you to do all of that. Now I got some with a little bit of blue in it and it's, it don't matter at this stage. Put it right in there, rub it in there. Just like that. It just has to be lighter than the darkest area that you're in. 
Okay, I'll pop a little, little something, something in here. Pop something here. Don't make them toy soldiers. Put them in here. See that? Now you got all sorts of stuff. It's really coming alive there all of a sudden. All right. I don't really have to add too much more to this painting. Um, very simple, very straightforward. I'll pan back and let you see the total, total thing here. All right. Forgive the glare. But with a palette knife, you got your wave action here. You see, the, it's right where it's dark at. Okay. You got your little piece of sunlight going on over there. You can brighten that if you would like. I will um, take, I'll take a, I'll take the same filbert brush. Get a tiny bit of white. Just a tiny bit. It's, it's right here. Right here. All right, and you kind of round it out a little bit. Round it out just a tad. I don't want to keep it exactly sharp there, so I'll fade out that edge a little bit. Just a hint of that brightness right in there, just like that. Now, take a little bit of yellow, a tiny, tiny bit, just a tiny bit pop it in there okay that white and that yellow will play around with each other there okay and I'm going back into my white we're just playing it's like playing tennis back and forth back and forth you're mixing the yellow and the white together you'll see the brightness but it it is it's there you see a hint of it there Okay, there it is. You'll see a hint of it. Just like that. <clears throat> there we go. Just like that. So you see a bit of it. Now I didn't put blue in there. A little bit right in here. And we'll cover that up real fast. There we go. Just like that. Of course, you know, I can put a seagull in there or some kind of bird. Something in there so it doesn't look like the Dead Sea. So we'll put one of those bargain basement seagulls in there. All right. Now, the way I'm going to do the seagull is, um, we'll give him, uh, it's just a, a shape. Okay. So we'll, we'll put one here. And so what I'll do is I'll kind of, Put them in there, thicken the body, give them a little curve like that. And we're kind of just something up in there like, like this. All right, so we got, we got a little, little bird of something going on over there. Oh, uh, we'll have one kind of, oh, we we'll have him kind of spread out like that and maybe like this because he's going in another direction. We'll, we'll put one in there like that. Okay. And then we'll probably put one. Oh, we'll put one right in here. He's almost in the ocean there. Okay. Got to have to thicken up the white paint on this one. But he is there. He's right in here like that. And then we're going to bring him, swoop him up like that. Uh, what I'm doing is putting heavier paint because you know obviously the paint's still wet, so we just need some heavier, brighter paint in there for that guy. Put him in there it's like this. Make him stick out there. Give him a little little belly there. Okay. And we'll just darken the tip of his wings or something. Have him stick out there. Darken the tip of his wings there, it's like that, and put something there. Um, we'll probably put some in the back. We'll just use the brown. The brown will appear black, especially when it's dry. So we'll come out here on this side, and we'll put some baby things way back here. We'll cut just like that one there, and we'll put one there, just like that, and we'll put a couple of them here. Um, off right there. 
We got some birds flying around back there. We we'll put a couple of them here. All right. So we got some way in the back back there. Let's get some white again. And we'll put some um, maybe maybe back here in between where the clouds are. We'll kind of get some little fellows back there like this. They're flying around having a good time. Back here. One up here like this. Just like that. Um, we'll put some up here in the clouds, way up here, like this. Uh, we have one flying sideways. He's drunk. All right. Wacky to backy. Just like that. Okay. Um, you know what I feel like doing? I feel like taking some blue. I feel like taking some blue. Come here, and I'm going to put a mast right here. And then we'll just make a little triangle shape. So he'll ship off in it, a little, little sailboat on the distance. There, we'll put one right there. And we'll put one right right here. Just like that little, little sailboat's there. We'll put one right here, right where the sun is. And we have him going the other way, like this. Little mast, little ships. Okay, so we got a couple of boats back there. Might look like sharks, but they're boats. Put one with a, put a white mast one up here, right here going this way we'll put one over here like that we're going hey, it's going that way like that so we got little little, little sailboats in the back back there we'll put one we'll put one over here he's lonely just like that we'll have him go this way all right so we got all sorts of little happenings going on over there i'd like to thank you guys for watching i hope this helped you out very different type of uh water different type of uh, scene oh uh, I'll throw my name this is very rare that I go on the other side to put my name if you guys like what you see where I did in the comments below if you don't like what you see put it in the comments below because I have my name here which is it's kind of different for me I had to put the uh, Boy, that's sloppy. I like the way that looked, but it is my signature. Ugh. Um, I'll put the two right here, and then I'll put the uh, twenty-one right there. Boy, that's horrible. Okay, but it is there. Obviously, you know I'll take a decent picture of this without the glare you guys getting some glare over there because the glycerin is still wet but anyway there you go very uh peaceful somewhat tranquil kind of scene you got birds all over the place you got the ships way in the back you got a couple you know if i zoom in you, you would see them there they're white and bluish or whatever um very simple technique um you guys can definitely do this a lot of life in here because of the uh, Kmart birds that I put in there of different colors. The dark is further away. The lighter ones obviously are closer. The ships are darker. Even the ones in, in the ones that are in white still are far away because um, they're smaller. It's a smaller object, but they they are in there. Okay. So you know you got your little thunderheads rolling in, but you you you've got that little sunrise uh, coming up really. Um, it is a sunrise. I didn't put any purple in here. There's no red, no purple. It's, you know, sun's kind of trying to peek its way up there. Okay. And I can see you got a little bit of sparkles and you got some of the, um, um, the water lines, which may be waves. And then as they get larger, they become a little more defined in all of that. But I think this is a great beginner painting. if not too bad. Let me know your comments. Let me know what you think. And once again, until um, next time, guys. Peace.